In this video, I'm gonna be giving you my top five best tequilas for you to make margaritas. For the tequilas in this list, I had a couple of different criteria. One, it needed to be budget friendly. It needed to have the ability to stand up well in a cocktail. And of course, every single one was absolutely reputable with a lot of them being confirmed additive free. But all right, let's hop into it. All right, but before we get into the best brands, how do you even make a margarita in the first place? Well, let's get to it. First thing we're gonna do is one ounce of freshly squeezed Lime juice. The next thing we're gonna do is a quarter of an ounce of simple syrup. Yes, simple syrup. And before you start commenting, why didn't you use agave? Well, a traditional margarita uses simple syrup. A Tommy's margarita uses agave. I know it's a simple difference, but go argue in the comments down below. So a quarter of an ounce of simple syrup. We don't want it to be too sweet. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of Pontreau, which is an orange liqueur. And then we're going to do two ounces of actually our first entry into this, Cimarron Blanco. But we'll talk about them in a moment. So we're going to do two ounces of this. Add ice, flag it up. All right. And then we're going to pour it out into our fun little salted cactus glass. And there we have a traditional margarita. So incredible. That's amazing. So the first tequila we're going to talk about is Cimarron. So why is Cimarron one of the best tequilas for margaritas? Well, it is, first of all, under $25 for a liter. A liter. That's a lot of tequila for not that much money. It is certified additive free. And what I love the most about it is that it's very robust. It has this very agave forward flavor that kind of goes right through and it really stands up well in a cocktail. Well, I guess these are the kind of things we should be saying after we taste it, right? So let's do this again. Oh, oh yeah, right on the nose, you get these great floral hints and that cooked agave. That's great. It's really robust. It's got this really sharp bite to it. It's got nice spice notes and it really stands up well in a margarita when there are those other ingredients in there. It is really in your face as a flavor profile and one that I actually personally use this every single day in my bar and restaurant as our well tequila for margaritas and for all other sorts of tequila cups. And so the next tequila I wanna to talk to you about is Suerte. And why is Suerte a perfect tequila for margaritas? Well, for a couple of different reasons. Uh, traditionally, I don't like to use Reposado tequilas in regular margaritas, but if you're gonna make a like, margarita variation, I think Reposados are actually a great choice, especially one like Suerte. Uh, the other reason is that this came in at under $35 a bottle. So it's actually super budget friendly. It is made at Gnome 1530, and it's the only tequila produced there. All right, let's give this one a little sip. Oh yeah, that's great. You get this almost like kind of buttery mouthfeel. It coats your mouth. You get that really good, great cooked agave flavor. You get some of those vanilla and caramel hints from the barrel, but they're not overpowering. And I think that this is actually, if you wanted to use this in margarita, it would probably be an absolutely incredible choice. If you can get the Blanco, I think the Blanco is also a great option. Both come in at under $35 and just another incredible brand. And as an honorable mention in the super budget category, we have Tres Agaves. Unfortunately, I only have their Añejo here, so I wouldn't necessarily use this one in a margarita, but their Blanco or their Reposado is outstanding. You can get both of those bottles for around $30 at most, maybe $32. In terms of bang for your buck, this is absolutely outstanding. And while we're on the topic, if you wanted a great budget Añejo that is gonna give you those incredible barrel notes without breaking the bank, get this one, 35 bucks. Such a great option as well. And the next brand I wanna to talk to you about is Lalo. Lalo Tequila has an absolutely incredible story. Lalo was created by the grandson of Don Julio. Yes, that Don Julio. And so his grandson, who his nickname is Lalo, started creating tequila more recently, and it's new, relatively new to the market. The reason that I think this is a perfect tequila for margaritas is for the incredible flavor profile of this. Tequila. Currently, they only make a Blanco, and they really want their Blanco to be shared. It is, they're very much about the heritage and the tequila making process, and this, I'm really, I've been a really big fan of it, as you can tell by the fact that this is almost empty. So let's give this one a little sip. outstanding. It's got that bright agave forward flavor. It has a really great body. It doesn't hit you over the head with that spice. It's nice and subtle. And I, and I, but I think that it has enough of a body to really stand up well 
in a cocktail like a margarita. And while this one is stepping it up in price just a little bit, it's about $45 a bottle. I think that for the quality of this, just having this on a back bar is absolutely outstanding. You can sip on it on its own, no problem, but in a cocktail, it really shines as well. It's very versatile. And it's got a great story, confirmed out of the free, beautiful bottle. I think this is or absolutely gorgeous. So what else What else can I say about it? You know, it's, it's lovely, I love it. The next tequila I wanna to talk to you about is Tequila Chamucos. Tequila Chamucos, uh, the reason why I think it's perfect for a margarita is the sheer complexity of this tequila is something that I absolutely find fascinating. This comes in at around just under $50. I think you can get anywhere between like 38 and 45. I've actually seen it go up to $50, but that depends on the store. I'm giving you kind of the price range. Let's give this one a little tasty taste and we'll go from there. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, I love that. It's got this great bright spice right up front and then it starts to kind of coat your mouth and it's like giving you a warm hug, but then the finish on it, it just lingers on your mouth and it's this incredible flavor that makes you want to keep sipping on it. In a cocktail, I think tequila chamucos really sings. I think it combines beautifully with other flavors and it's not going to break the bank. And I just think that this has such a unique and complex flavor that I cannot get enough of in a cocktail or on its own. Genuinely an incredible tequila for margaritas. And the last tequila I wanna to talk to you about is Tequila Ocho. Unfortunately, I only have the Reposado here, but the Tequila Ocho Blanco is by far one of my favorite choices for margaritas. About $45 for a bottle. I am obsessed with Tequila Ocho as a brand. I think they always do it the right way. Their tequila is some of my favorite that's on the market at this moment in time. The master distiller behind this brand is a genius. Um, but we're gonna taste Reposado since you're already here, you know? Wow, just so incredible. It's got, you get these, the cooked agave and spices up front, great body, super enjoyable. And it's like, it gives you a nice hug at the end and it warms your insides. It's one of my favorite brands for a reason, whether you wanna use this in cocktails or sip it on its own, it's versatile and it, it, it's versatile enough to do both. Um, and I absolutely am obsessed with it. It's such a great one. So no matter which of these five brands you go with, I think you're gonna be able to make an absolutely incredible margarita with any of them. But if you want to see more tequila recommendations, I have an entire other video right over here where I tasted every single brand of tequila, or at least every brand I can get my hands on. Give that one a watch next. Cheers.